Hey guys, it's Holly Ann and Anthony today. We are gonna make you some of my homemade fudge brownies today. I got my bowl and I have my woo, recipe. Woo, woo. Yeah, it's, it's my own recipe. I actually came up with a while back. I've been really good into cooking. And the, I got my flour out, vanilla, bacon powder, um, sugar. I use cocoa, butter, and some eggs. Now, I think these taste a lot better than box. I used to always do box, but after I came up with this, I don't really buy box anymore. It just tastes so much better. Mm. And Anthony's going to be coming over here, too. Anthony? Yes? Why don't you come over and join us? Certainly. Okay, we are going to use one cup of butter. Why don't you go ahead. This is a half. Go ahead and put the half in. We're going to need two sticks of butter. So he's going to go ahead and do that for us. He's my assistant. But, you know, I'm, I'm in charge of this. If you say yes. I'm like gonna... I said, you know, I was going to be making more cooking stuff. We haven't really started much on that yet. If you say I'm your assistant, I think they already get that you're the head of this. this is well, I love cooking, and I actually really love, you know, making food and giving it to people. Mm -hmm. These particular, uh -huh. yes, this particular recipe where when it's all done and cooled for a little bit, you know, we're going to be taking it over to my mom's in a little while tonight. Yeah, we're actually really happy about that. Now we hope that y'all will really like this recipe. It goes in here too. You got soften it. Okay. You what you're doing. While he starts on that, um... Do the cup of butter, then we're going to do 3-4 cups of cocoa. So we'll get this out. You want to just do the one pour? You only do it a little bit. Oh, you gotta take it out of that. You wanna just do the um the one fourth? The or one three fourths. Yeah. Do one fourth three times. Yep. I already know that. Yeah. I'm actually using the Pioneer ones. I actually been collecting a lot of her stuff. I really like her. Yeah. I like watching her cooking stuff. I actually get a lot of motivation from watching her. So, it really helps. I love watching a lot of different cooking people. Hmm. Especially, I do actually like Bobby Flay. I like a lot of his stuff. I mean, I've never been to his restaurants. I've actually thought about going one day. So, I think that would be really nice. Just so you can get a look at some of the ingredients in the bowl, everybody. So far. Okay, next we need four eggs. So I'll get them out. We got another Pioneer bowl. They're so cute, aren't they? Yeah. I got Wegmans eggs. I always love some of the Wegmans. I wonder where Anthony went. Okay, go ahead and put this in. Why don't you go ahead and crack an egg for us? Sure. We need three more eggs. Let's get that done. Three more eggs? Yep, it's a total of four eggs. And then we're going to need two cups of sugar. Let me check the camera and make sure that I'm in the shot. Crack it in here. Oh. How 
three of that. Three. Three. Okay, we need one more. You dispose of this, please. Make sure you wash your hands, too. I always do. Look who I'm talking to. That's more like you. <laughs> I always wash my hands. Anytime you touch raw meat, touch the trash can, touch raw egg, always make sure you wash your hands. Even if, you have, Looking good. even if you have to wash, even if you have to wash like a good five, ten times while you're cooking, it don't matter. So you don't want any of your food. Mm -hmm. I love the bed and bath store. I like a lot of different stoves, especially around the holidays. They actually have like really nice, I really love their peppermint. Peppermint just, you know, smells so good. Mm -hmm. It's got that strong, you know, taste to it. Oh, yeah. I love anything that has peppermint in it. Oh, yeah. Except coffee. I'm not really a coffee drinker. Okay, I'll do the sugar. You do the sugar. Why don't you do the next ingredient after sugar? You do flour. Flour. One and a half cups of purpose flour. Mm hmm. And is it one cup of sugar? It is two cups of sugar. Okay. Sure. One. Okay. Two cups. Okay, you put flour. I'm going to go ahead and get the spoon out and start stirring it up. You know, it's so much more fun to actually make homemade stuff because you know exactly what's going in your food. Did you? You didn't soften this enough. Did you say that this is one and a half cups or one half cup? Let's we'll see. Of what? It's one and a half, right? Flour? Yeah. One and a half. Okay, make sure. You I didn't get it. It almost feels like a brick. Oh, like a brick. Feel this. The butter. Feel it? You're gonna put some elbow grease into it, girl. I can't believe you did that. You said you don't put it in there long. You gotta take it out of the, the package. Well, once it gets blended in, it'll <sighs> melt. Something it has to be, like, really soft. Yeah, you want the butter to be soft, not hard. I need a potato masher. <laughs> a potato masher. Do you guys hear him? <laughs> hey, it, it could work, you know. I guess. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and mix this up really good. Mm -hmm. What's next? Okay, one teaspoon of baking powder. Get the teaspoons out. I can stir this up more. You can grab the teaspoons. Okay, you get it. And this is like a tight kitchen. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and mix this up really good. How's it looking, honey? It's looking great. Okay. A teaspoon of baking powder. Mm -hmm. So much fun to cook. So what else does everybody love to make? What do you like to make? I like making burgers. I like yeah. cooking ribs. Um, He's cute. Vanilla? I don't measure, I just pour it in. I mean, I actually come up with the recipes. I write them down. I mean, I have some of them memorized, but... I just go through them. I mean, I still look at them and go through them and figure out, like, if there's anything else I want to change, mm -hmm. and I change it, and sometimes that actually makes the recipe a lot better. Mm. 
You want to go ahead and mix them? Sure. Kind of get that well mixed. Okay. So everything is in the brownies now. It just has to get well blended. mixture has to go on a saucepan for a minute and we have to add a little bit extra butter. You need a bigger one than that. That's too small. Soft enough. So we're going to go ahead and do this first. Just stop mm -hmm. Well, folks, stick tight. We're going to get the rest of this all softened up and good and get it into the oven. And we'll be right back with making the homemade icing. Hey, guys. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do this into the pan. It's looking good. It's all chocolatey. Oh, heck yeah. Mix this in. Then all we're going to do, um, got it set to 350. Mm -hmm. And get this in. Let it cook. And then we'll, then we'll um, make up the icing to actually put on the brownies. Now this is a really good recipe. It's rich mm -hmm. and it's really chocolatey for people who really love chocolate. Yeah. I mean, it is so good. <laughs> it's actually like the best one I've had. I've tried a lot of brownies, but <laughs> yeah, you gotta have patience to cook. I mean, a lot of people, you know, are just so much in a rush when it comes to cooking. I mean, that don't really work out so well. Yep. Get a little bit. Do you want to see it? And it's going 350 mm -hmm. for 25 to 28 minutes, but make sure you don't over bake it. True. So once that goes off, we're going to put it in. Yeah. How we do and about 27 minutes. And while it's cooking in the oven, we're going to go ahead and get the icing made to go on top of it. So you actually, I let mine cook, and then I take it out, and I let it cool for about an hour before you put it on. You don't want to put the icing on <coughs> right after it comes out. You want to let the um, brownies just be warm. Yeah. So, otherwise, it's going to be really runny, and it's going to go all the place. But, yeah, it's looking really good. Alright, so, soon as we get that put in the oven, we're going to take a quick break and get back to you guys momentarily. Yep, and we will, we'll, we will see you right back. Alright. Bye. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and make the icing. We're going to go ahead and put the rest of this butter in here. That's also, I mean, people make this. Mm -hmm. I don't like when it comes out too fast, though. Yeah. It's always fun cooking. Anthony's going to be coming over here. Just let us know if there's any other cooking stuff you would like to see us make. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> okay. That's good. Well, yeah, you know, I mean, cooking always gets messy. Oh, yeah. I don't mind. Okay, we need like a tad bit more. I mean, I do a little bit until I get the perfect texture. So, just do as much as you want. And then we need a half cup of baking cocoa. How do we just 
use the rest of this. And that would be the brownie. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and the brownie out. I'm going to finish this. Next, we need some vanilla to make it sweet. Just add a little bit. Okay, that's enough. I really love vanilla. The taste. It's just sweet. It always tastes better, you know, when you add vanilla. Okay, then we need a little bit of milk. Okay, get a little bit of milk out. I mean, some of the stuff I actually don't measure because, you know, I know, like, how much I need. Just do a little bit, then if you need more, then you just add some more. Okay, mix that. Why don't you go ahead and check and see if the brownies are done yet. And make sure, you know, you get the perfect texture. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add a tad bit more of this. I like mine a little thick. I don't like my like, runny-like. So, how do brownies look? A few more minutes? Yeah, there's still a few more minutes. Want to see how it's looking? Mm -mm. So what do you think? Still, it's nice. See how it's starting to get thicker? Mm -hmm. That's how you want it. You want it kind of thick. You gotta get that right texture. Because we're actually gonna put this after the brownies cool. This is gonna go on top of the brownies. That's gonna be really good. You wanna try a bite? Mm. That's tempting. Why don't you come and try a bite? I'm pretty sure everybody would like to know how it tastes. Mm. So how is it? It's really rich. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's good. Really good. Don't you talk for a minute. So yeah, that's two thumbs up all the way right there. It has like that. You know how we go to the store and you see in the baking aisle the brownie packs that say like decadent, you know, decadent fudge or decadent you know, whatever. That's decadent. Mmm. It's so good. Okay, well, we're going to put the icing up. And the brownie should be coming out in just a few minutes. So, it's starting to firm. Mm. So, what do you think, guys? Does it look good? Do you think I did a good job on it? I think you did great. So we're going to let this sit for a little bit. And we will be right back after the brownies come out. <laughs> and we'll see you back in a minute. Bye. So now, got the icing all done. You see how it looks? Yep. Mm. Homemade icing. 
That's good. So we're going to take it. This is being cooling for about an hour. We're going to take a little bit of this icing and lightly spread it on top. It smells so good. <laughs> Don't it? Yeah, it does. Remind I usually let it go for about an hour because you have to let it sit because, you know, it's not good to put this on top when it's hot. Mm -hmm. Now, this makes like a really pretty glaze right on top. Now, I only made a little bit because um, I just make a small one like this. But you see how it's already starting to form. It only takes like 30 minutes and this whole thing will start to get hard on top. So pretty. And I usually just rotate like this. See how it's done the form? Mm -hmm. Go around the sides. And you just even out all the icing. You want to make sure you get chocolate icing all over the brownies. Make sure you get enough because it's going to have to sit probably about 30 minutes I usually do. Let it sit for about 30 minutes until it gets hard and then you can go ahead and cut it. So Make sure you get it all over. I think the spot still needs a little bit more. How's it look? Looks great. See how it's forming? Mm. And I love making homemade icing. It tastes so much better than store bought. Mm. Can't you really taste the difference? Yeah. Okay, so it's done. So what do you all think? <laughs> Let it sit so it hardens right on top of the brownie. Mm -hmm. That tastes really good. Yeah. A closer image. Mm -hmm. So, what do y'all think? You can tell it's already for me. Yep, yeah. it was a labor of love, no doubt. So, you guys, thank you again for tuning in with us tonight. Let us know in the comments section what you thought of Holly's homemade brownie recipe, and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you'll be notified of all our upcoming videos. So until then, you know, um, sorry. So until then, God bless you all, God keep you, and you have a great rest of your day, evening, or afternoon, wherever you are in the time zone. Yeah, remember we post every two to three days. We've been posting a lot more lately because we're still new at this, mm -hmm. and we're trying to get more people. So just let everybody know about okay. us. There you go. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all the social media sites. And you all have a nice night. Thank you all. God bless. Bye.